Hello guys, today we are going to talk about the mystery surrounding the Sudama and how to deal with them. Also, what they do within the Neo 2 universe. If you are new to my channel, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. I stream every Thursday and Friday here on YouTube and Saturdays on Twitch at 10 to 12.30 Eastern Central. The links will be down below. Alright guys, let's get into this. What are the Sudamas? To be able to answer that question, we must first see how a Sudama is created and why they resemble the Kodama. First, you have to know what are the two types of fiends in the game, the Nigetama and the Aratama. For anyone who has not yet played the first Neo, I will do my best to explain. The Nigetama are guardian spirits, born from light of human faith and belief, like the spirits that follow and assist you throughout your playthrough. While an Aratama is a fiend born from the darkness of human grudge and anger like most of the fiends in the game. To go back on the topic, the Kodama would be the Nigetama, while the Sudama would be an Aratama. A Kodama corrupted by the Dark Realm is transformed into an Aratama. However, unlike most Aratama, the Sudama does not show any aptitude for violence as his original form, the Kodama, never bore ill will towards man. Because guys, remember that an Aratama is only born out of the grudge of human emotion. So because the Kodama were never actually uh, angered by man, when he, they eventually transformed into the Aratama, they still do not have that violent nature towards man. So that's a little recap as well. However, the Sudama do indeed feel attached to material possessions and serve as traders in the Neo universe if you are willing to be able to part with a few items. Not all the Sudamas are the same. One may like a certain item, while if you encounter another Sudama in your travels and you give him the same item, he may not like it so much. This list is a work in progress and I am still learning more things about the Sudama. So if you notice that there is an item that is not on the list, please comment down below with the item's name. For the first list, I found that the Sudama liked these items. And now, for a list of items that you should never give the Sudama unless you want to get shocked so hard that... Also, giving the Sudama an item that it really likes gives you a chance to be able to get a Kodama Soul Core. And so far, from what I know, this is the only way to be able to get it. For a higher chance of getting it, trade in high rarity items. Sudamas are found in almost any level, however they are tricky to find. If you do want to see a lot of them, I recommend doing the mission The Search, as there are a lot of them and they are easy to find on this mission. You may also come across Sudama Shrines that are located inside of the Dark Realms or Twilight Realms. These shrines look slightly like the Kodama shrines, just overrun by Sudama, and they serve the same purpose. You are still able to pray and do all your normal things, just like the Kodama shrines. Here are some comparisons of what they look like. Well guys, that is all the information I have on the Sudama. If you feel that I missed anything, please let me know down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit like and subscribe, also the notification bell for more videos. And you can catch me playing Neo and a lot of other games here on YouTube and Twitch. I will mostly be on YouTube Thursdays and Fridays and on Twitch on Saturdays, 9.30pm Eastern Central. Alright guys, I will see you next time.